friends, it's Unicorn Princess here and welcome to the first of the monthly faves in a long time. So what month are we in? This is July and it's crazy hot in Scotland. It's uncharacteristically hot and everybody's complaining about everyone complaining about how hot it is in Scotland but we're not used to this kind of heat and we don't have air conditioning in most places so when it's hot it's really hot and it just kind of stays hot. So I have made a wee list to keep myself on track of what I loved about July. There's plenty of things that I didn't love about July. That's okay because there are also plenty of things that I love about July. I'm not going to include my room in the favourites because that's just a given and uh, you know you can check out the room tour anyway. I'm wearing a semi-updo as well because it's <laughs> It's so hot and I just can't stand having all my hair on me. I did have it all up the other day um, and now I have like half of it up in like a, I don't know what would you call it, like a bell from Beauty and the Beast style bun thingy and it's all my Disney, look see, got Disney, Disney and that's Disney too and then the rest of it's just down. Okay, so I'm gonna start off the monthly faves. I think with clothes, I've had to kind of buy a couple of things again because we're unprepared for the heat um so i'm gonna start with, with the obvious one which is my my summer top which is just pushing my boobs in there <laughs> it's a good summer look and it's it's very comfortable it holds me very still i feel like i can run for the bus without punching myself in the eye which is a plus also it's a crop top so look Yeah! I did get another top, I actually just got it today, I've been searching for one forever, um, which is gonna link to the TV section of Monthly Faves. Da -na 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 -na. Jurassic Park! This is actually a child's Jurassic Park t-shirt. I'm gonna try it on, like right now, to make sure that it fits, so if it doesn't you'll be the first to know. Skillfully not ruining my hair. Yes! We successfully fit into this t-shirt and I'm gonna give you two guesses on what size this actually is. Okay, we are comfortable, we fit. You wanna see the label? Okay, I just threw the label away and I can't find it, but this is a child's ages, seven to eight. <laughs> so it might come up high. Let's see if it kind of crop tops a little. A little bit. So yeah, we got some awesome Jurassic Park tea. And to match it, I also found these, I, I got that in Primark and I found these in Primark too and they were too cute and they were only like 11 pound, so I had to have them. Look how cute these are! They're sparkly and they have pom-poms and they zip up the side. These, I also got these in the, the children's section, but they're size 3, like an adult, obviously, an adult size 3. So they're quite, I thought they were quite big, actually. I think that's probably it for the fashion clothing side of monthly faves so I guess we'll go on to the next thing which I want to set at TV because it will make a lot of sense following the fashion stuff so if any of you guys keep up with the uh, like Marvel series stuff on Netflix and all the other Marvel series stuff um, Luke Cage just came out recently I've been watching through Luke Cage I almost said Nuke Cage <laughs> and it's awesome I'm not going to spoil anything but if you like the whole Marvel heroes thing you will enjoy Luke Cage, it has everything. I will say that it's got um, Jamaican guys in it and their accent is the best thing ever. I've got some anime as well. I've been watching um, Boku no Hero Academy, Academia. I always forget which is the end part, but Hero Academy, basically. It kind of took me a little while to get into it. I was, I liked it at first, but I wasn't like, mega fussed on it but now I'm like watching three or four episodes at night when it's already one in the morning and I need to keep watching more. The story is so deep and there's so much going on and like 
no characters one dimensional, everybody's got background and backstory and I think that the intro for season 3 is my favourite intro as well, it's really good. So yeah, that's my anime. And my movie for favourites for this month is a little bit late I guess, but it was Jurassic World, the new Jurassic Park movie because I love Jurassic Park. I love Jurassic Park. Yeah, I'm thinking about making like a lookbook appreciation type thing for Jurassic Park because I love Jurassic Park so much. It's dinosaurs, really. I love dinosaurs and I like films and games and stuff about dinosaurs so the Jurassic Park series is just like one of my favourite series franchises of all time. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll go on to lifestyle things now because I'll just drivel on and on about dinosaurs in Jurassic Park forever. <laughs> but I got a couple of unicorny lifestyle things. You've probably seen these before but I didn't formally introduce them. I got unicorn makeup brushes that are beautiful. They're like kind of pearlescent oil spill and lilac and they're just I've never really had or used makeup brushes before and these have kind of been my my starter kit but I love them and I'm now using them all the time so I'm not being a savage and just using my fingers. I also as you may know just got a, a second job in like a candly ornamenty place so I'm kind of mega into my candles right now. I didn't buy any yet. I've not officially been paid but I will buy some but I got this really cute unicorn like candle holder it's just the cutest thing I found it in Asda for like three pound and I was like I'm having that but look at his face I love this like sleepy eyed unicorn thing so much so cute if you guys saw my last vlog that I'll pop up a thing here for, um, I had a bit of a, a whinge because I was having a really hard time. I am still having a hard time and a result of the hard time is me buying myself like toys and presents. Just little things here and there. Places where I get discount, so it's okay. So I got myself a couple of little things. I'm going to show you them now. I've kind of been eyeballing this bunny at Claire's for a while um, and I get discount at Claire's because I work in the same centre and it felt like that was a justification but she's adorable, she's a bunny and she's a princess and she's got a tutu A big part of the motivation for me is the fact that her limbs are floppy and that's a big thing for me. So when you <laughs> dangle her wee legs. So she's super cute. She doesn't have a name. So if you would like to name my uh, ballerina princess bunny, drop me a little comment and uh, I'll tell you next video what one I pick. So give me some ideas. Name my bunny. I'll give you a shout out. <laughs> I got another thing in Claire's because I love going to Claire's that's also dinosaur related. It's dinosaur pushing. It's a special Stegosaurus dinosaur pushing. And Stegosaurus is my favorite dinosaur and he's just the cutest. Who doesn't want a cat Stegosaurus pushing? Like, it's the best mix of everything. So I'm probably gonna hang him on my bag. I don't know what Dinosaur Pusheen's name is. I kind of like him as Dinosaur Pusheen. Name my bunny. Dinosaur Pusheen can just stay as Dinosaur Pusheen. <laughs> because I found so much of it, I want to dedicate a section to music. Favourite music that I've had of this month. I have three songs and I'm going to play a little clips of each of them. I don't like rap normally. Rap is not usually my thing. I like it in K-pop sometimes. Uh, and I like it in J-pop sometimes, but like I don't normally listen to English rap and I don't normally listen to it kind of by itself, but <laughs> my friend Henry kept playing this thing in the house and I was like, <gasps> because it's got classical music in it, it's got Mozart in it and I like classical music, but it's got um, like Mozart's Requiem and I love Mozart's Requiem and it's like rap to Mozart's Requiem. <laughs> So the the group, I guess, is called 
Apache or Apache Apat. I'll, I'll put a thing up. <laughs> this. Um, and they just released uh, an album that is gold in colour, but I can't remember what it's called. Maybe it's called Requiem. It might also be called Requiem. Um, but pretty much every song on that album, because it's only got like three songs on it, are amazing. I think I will play a clip from maybe a little bit from Lacrimosa. And um, it's not in this album, but there is another song where they use the Battle Royale uh, classical music in it, and I'll play a little clip of that as well because that is amazing. Stepping aside from like rap stuff now, I also found this cover of Justin Timberlake's Crimea River done by a group called The Animal In Me or Animal In Me and they're like a metal cover group and it's the most amazing stuff ever. It's such a good cover. I will play a clip from it now. So good, I can't stop listening to it. And I guess the last um, the last thing that I want to play you is a song by Voctive, which I mentioned before. I think I said Vocative before, which has been wrong every time I've said it. It's Voctive. Just on repeat, I've been listening to their like mashup song uh, that's Poor Unfortunate Souls from The Little Mermaid and um, the Spell On You song. <laughs> that I can't remember who it's by, but mash together and it's amazing and I'm gonna play a clip of it as well. You should definitely check out these groups by the way. I have such a wide love of music of all different types and these are all, they're all so good for different things entirely but they're all so good. I guess that's it for- oh no it's not, it's not, okay I, this was like a last minute thing that I found. You remember in my room tour video I showed you uh, my Disney shelf and like my pictures and everything under it completely by accident. <laughs> I found this thing in Primark that is going to replace the picture collage section under my shelves and it's this thing. It's like a Disney like scrap book board or like I don't know what the, the proper name for it is but it's got these little Disney clips and you just like stick all your pictures in it and accidentally, unintentionally, this fits absolutely perfectly underneath my Disney shelves. Like perfectly. It, I, I couldn't have picked it better if I'd actually deliberately looked for it. And I guess the last favourite for this month will be a favourite word. I haven't had one in a while and this isn't a good word but I love it so much. It's like one of the best insults ever. Vapid. If you don't know what vapid means, it's kind of like without depth. You know, if you're vapid, you're shallow and I'm actually going to look it up and give you the definition of it so that I don't butcher it. Uh, I've written it down. Uh, so, offering nothing that is stimulating or challenging, bland, uninspired, flavourless. <laughs> I just think it's such a great insult to call somebody vapid. <laughs> Especially because I find that that's often people's impression of me before they've spoken to me. So they see me with my blonde hair and all my pink and being excited about cute things and they make these quick judgments about me and they normally imagine that I'm stupid um, and vapid and shallow. Those are generally the things. And I've had people say to me, oh wow, I didn't expect you to be so eloquent. And I know that they mean that as a compliment, but, but really it just means they took one look at me and thought that I would speak like an idiot. <laughs> 
Anyway guys, that's it for uh, our July monthly faves. Hopefully I'll have more to be happy about in August. And yeah, if you liked this video, please give it a like and a share and uh, ring the bell thing and give it a comment because I love your comments. Check out my Patreon, it is in the links in the description. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video.